Good morning, YouTubers. At the request of a, another YouTuber, he wanted to know how to, if I could show how to hook up a gas generator to my solar generators for an emergency on a cloudy day or a snowy day where you ain't getting no sun. So I figured I'd come out here while it's quiet and everything. Old Brutus eating. But uh, I was going to show him how to do it. Uh, hope this don't bore nobody. Just like I said, just trying to help him out. These are my gas generators. Uh, got two of them. You know, they say three is two, two is one, one is none. So I got me a backup for my backup. But uh, both of them run great. Both gasoline. Both on wheels. So I guess you could call these portable. But uh, in case there was a a winter day or just a cloudy day that you can't get no solar and let's say the grid's down i would jerk one of these out roll it out bring it over to here and as you can see right there is my cord coming out the yellow it's a electrical house uh wiring and i've put a a end on it right here. I got a bag over it just to keep the moisture and stuff out, but that's a male end with the prongs. And uh, I can attach another extension cord to it. And like I said, just uh, set my gasoline generator out here near it. And I've got that cord running under my house up to my bedroom where my solar generators are. We'll go in here now. I'll show you what I've got set up. We'll go right in here. Sorry for the delay. Then here's all my solar generators. And uh, I'm gonna turn this light on because it's very dark in here. But what I have done I've ordered these extension cords off of eBay. And they've got the one lead end, show you there's power. Got that one and that one. They're uh, six foot long, but I ordered both of them. You can get both of them off of eBay, $16, $17 for both. You know, add your little tax on there, but good deal. They're, uh, they're uh, heavy duty. But I also ordered one that's got a three prong on it, or three outlet, as you can see. And it's a lit up end. And I've just put a, a hook on the back of my dresser here to hold it there. But what I would do, that cord there is plugged up to that outside line I showed you, the yellow uh, house wiring. It comes up, the house wiring comes up through my floor right behind my dresser with a, a plug-in on it, a female. Well, this, this cord, I take the male end, plug it up to it. So that outside line is this now. Well, where it's got three outlets on it, I can actually, on a bad day, plug up all three of these, you know, or these two and one, whatever, I can hook up three solar generators to that cord, go outside, start her up, then I am charging three solar generators. So within, let's say, an hour and 45 minutes to two hours, I've got all three of these charged. Then if I have to, I can charge up my other ones in another, say, two hours. But, you know, out of all of my generators right here, I'm looking at about 60 hours, you know. So uh, I've done the math on it and everything, but that's what I could get out of it. And that's just on my two refrigerators and two freezers. But again, you know, no matter what you got, you don't have to set it up just like me. But that, that's that's all you got to do. But I, that's why I got the three-prong right there. Or not three-prong, the three-outlet end. And uh, I think I give like $22 for it. Uh, shipping and all but again you can just uh charge up three at the same time or two or one 
But that way, if you ain't got no sun, charge these up, you know, two hours of gas in the gasoline generator. But yet, I can get about anywhere from five and a half to seven and a half hours out of just one of these. So, you know, it's a no-brainer. Like I say, you know, charge up any of them. But uh, I just wanted to make a video. I, t I told the member I would, and it's a, a Marco's World 77. Just wanted to give a shout out to you. Thank you for the question. Uh, trying to do my best to reply, but it's pretty simple. Just uh, get you an outside line, run it under your house or through a wall or however. You know, you run it through a window if you have to, roll it up if you live in an apartment or something. But uh, me, I run mine under the house, and I popped it out of my block, up through my floor, and then up to right there. So now I ain't got to move nothing. I ain't got to carry no generators. I have no wires running through my back door or a window through my floors, you know, to trip over. It's easy peasy now. I just plug and play. That's what I always say. You know, do all this and get ready before anything ever really happens. Because trust me, I learned the hard way. You know, I think it was like three years ago, our power was out for three and a half, four and a half days. And I didn't have all these then. I had one. And uh, I learned as I went. But, uh, you know, if you bring an extension cord in through your door of your house, well, then here you got a cord running all the way through your home and everything, tripping over, you know, watch this, watch that. Got to leave a door cracked or a window cracked to get the cord in. You're losing heat or losing air, you know, whatever. But uh, if you do this now, all you got to do is literally is unplug and plug. So no brainer. But uh, I hope this was simple for you. Any questions, just comment. Don't mean to bore you. Like I said, you just reached out wanting to know how. So here it is. Any questions, give me a comment. Thank you all for watching and God bless.